And what we're doing right now is we're backfeeding that transformer with 120 volts, the same as you would have in your house. But when it comes out of the top of that transformer, it comes out at 7,200 volts. We've shown you that because we want you also to understand that when we have uh, backfeed caused by generators, and as most of you know, we had the storm. How many of you were in here for the hurricanes? I think nobody got to miss those. But anyways, a lot of times the, the backfeed from the generators will make that come out at 7,200 volts, and it'll cause people to get killed because they'll have down power lines or they'll also have trees in the lines. We have it coming through a cutout right here. <clears throat> that lineman Rick is getting ready to close and when he does it's going to come back through a transformer here and conventionally feed this light. And this light at the end is going to like represent your home or a business or something like that. Now what we're going to show you next are some of the things that are commonly found around the house that can get into the power lines and be very conductive. Out. And what it's going to do is it's going to light our light at the end. So anytime that you're around, if you're flying a kite or if you're playing with a jump rope or something like that, you do not want to do it around the power lines. You see it going right through that right there. And it's not even made out of aluminum or copper. It's, it's a piece of rope. So it's very, very conductive. So the times if you've watched TV, you'll see like there'll be an accident and like mom and the kids, they're in the car and the power lines are down over it and there's barking and flashing and, and then one of our heroes shows up and he'll jump out and he'll grab a two by four and he'll lift that power lines off there and make a daring rescue and then he stands there with a big smile on his face that he did that. Well, wood is very conductive, as you can see. It's going right through that piece of wood. So if that was a tree and the tree was in the power lines and you were to go up and get on that tree, chances are you could be electrocuted. And we didn't you know, or a CB, an aluminum ladder, something of that nature. Now this is going to be a little bit more dramatic here is what you're going to see. You'll actually see electricity. Most of the time you can't see electricity. Lyman Rick's going to put that in there. Vera, that's what you do not want to see. Okay, if you're wondering why Lyman Rick can do that and not get hurt, it's because he's wearing rubber protective gloves and all of our people who work on the power lines wear those gloves and what we do is we have them check those gloves every day before they start work because one pinhole in those gloves and they're no longer good and you will be electrocuted so what we're going to do is show you what happens if there's a pinhole in those gloves whoa did you test your rubber gloves today Lyman Rick okay thank you now, let's show you what happens if there's one pinhole in those gloves. Ooh, they're no longer good. That's why Lyman Rick can do that and not get hurt. Okay. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we call this the hot dog trick. And the reason we call it the hot dog trick is because we've chosen a hot dog because it most resembles the human body and the consistency of what it's made up of. It's made up of some meat some fat, some skin, and a lot of water, just like our bodies. Now electricity burns from the inside out, not from the outside in. So anytime that you get burnt with electricity, it burns from the inside out. So you, you really, really get fried pretty good. And what it'll do is it will also blow the ends of your fingers off if you're touching something. So we're going to show you with the hot dog what can happen to your hand or what can happen to your body when it comes in contact with electrical lines. A lot of times, you know, we don't understand that and we've never seen it. We've just kind of heard about it or you've read in the paper where maybe someone gotten electrocuted, something of that nature. Well, we deal with very high voltage. <clears throat> now it's going to probably make a different noise. It makes a splattering noise because of all the fat and the water that's in that hot dog. And we could actually eat that hot dog when we're done. How do you like your hot dogs? Uh-oh. Blow the end right off of that. Okay. Lyman Doug's going to open up that cutout for safety reasons. And then he's going to bring it over here 
right up here to the red line, and he's going to show you the hot dog if you want to come up here and take a look at it. How many bolts are we going to ladder, and he's going to take that limb down for you. So we're going to show you what happens when that limb goes across. There's nothing really exciting right now. It's just kind of sizzling up there. And it's going to meet itself in the middle when it goes to ground. And it's still making itself go in the ground. And it hasn't blown the fuses yet either. And that's one of the things that amazes you, is it will not blow the protective fusing. But I guarantee you that that limb is full of electricity. And if you were to walk up to it and touch it or the tree, there we go. I need a volunteer. This gentleman right here, I need you to take that limb off there for me, please. Yeah. <laughs> No, we don't want you to do that. What we want you to do is call us at Lakeland Electric and let us come take